in the spirit of all these Studio One videos that are surfacing, um, I wanted to do a little video not sp uh, specifically about Studio One, but about an application called Function Flip that helps you with Studio One on a Mac. Um, what I've been doing is when I go into Studio One, I want to change my function keys to standard function keys. I can press F2 and I can see the edit window, press F3 and see my mixer, etc. Um, but when I'm not in S1, I want to keep all my function keys as a special function keys in Mac so I can uh, turn the volume up and down quickly, I can press play and pause in iTunes and all that sort of stuff. So before I go into S1, what I used to have to do every single time, and I would always forget, is to go into system prefs and go into keyboard and then change this right here. Um, but I would always forget, I would go in and, uh, you know, half the time I wouldn't do it. So, I wanted to find some kind of macro that would change that quickly. But what I found was even better than that. What you need to do is get function flip first and install it. And you gotta go to http colon forward slash forward slash kevingessner.com slash software slash function flip or just go to your favorite search engine and search for function flip and it should come up. And you just scroll down to where it says get function flip and get function flip 2.02. It's a free app. Uh, so once you have that installed, what you need to do is go into your system preferences. And what you'll see here is that function flip shows up in the other category in your system prefs. But to turn it on, you want to go into universal access first. Because you want to make sure that this checkbox right here that says enable access for assistive devices is checked. If you don't check that off, function flip won't work. Okay. And then open function flip. Now, what you'll see here is F1 through F12. And what you do is you check off the ones that you want to um, act as special function keys. So in this case, I have F7 through F12 doing their special function keys because I've got my volume up and down, my mute, um, my play pause, and my forward and back. And F1 through F6, which I use all the time in Studio One, I have those unchecked, so those will stay standard function keys. You'll have to start function flip. Uh, here's the stop function flip, but yours will say start function flip because I already started it. Make sure you hit that, and also make sure you check off start function flip at login. If you don't do that, uh, the function flip settings will not be on when you start up. You'll have to start it each time. So if you click that, it'll start it at login. You won't have to ever go in here again. Um, and another tip in the keyboard, make sure that you have this checked off to start off as default with everything as standard function keys because then when you go into function flip you'll just check off the ones that you want to perform uh, their special functions and the ones that you want to be standard you, you don't check them um, so now when you're in studio one um, and I'm not going to press any function keys here there's your volume up and down you still have a mute and uh, this is great if you're on the road and you just want to mix stuff and you don't have a sound card hooked up and you can quickly bring your volume up and down and hit your mute and all that junk. And then your function keys are here and you have your edit window and your mix window and that stuff is all there and it's good to go. You have your F4, you have your inspector, you have F5, you can open and close your browser and it just makes it a lot easier in Studio One. So hopefully some of you out there on Mac can put this to use. Thanks.